I have a lot of policy cancellations. How can I better keep my clients? Okay, so policy cancellations comes down to a lot of it comes down to a couple things. Some agents just oversell clients just because that's what salespeople do. They just oversell them. You know, if you're sitting in a trailer, you may not want to sell somebody a policy for four hundred dollars a month. You know, go figure. Um, and then the since that trailer probably didn't cost four hundred dollars a month. And then the second thing is the relationship piece. Most people forget. You guys forget. Sales is a relationship game. There's no need for a sell if a relationship isn't there. Relationship is imperative. Relationship is super, super, super important. So that's what I think through. Whether I'm in, whether I'm doing field sales, whether I'm doing phone sales, relationship is what matters. It helps you short term to gain trust and to earn the business. It helps you long term so that when the next Joe Schmo just runs down the street and tries to replace them for 38 cents less, they don't do it because they've got a relationship with you. So rather than speeding through the sales cycle, that's, what, that's why with our four step appointment process, we preach warm up and we preach cool down. Start off by warming them up, getting to know them. And at the end, we finish with cool down to where you're cooling down off of business, you're continuing to build a relationship, you're asking them questions like, hey, what are you doing the rest of the week? You got any big plans? How's the weather going to be? You can hang out with grandkids. You know, what are you doing? And so that extra relationship piece is big. It really is. How about giving up for Duke being on the show today? <laughs> giving you guys another face to look at other than just mine all the freaking time. I think another thing you said once about building a relationship is sending out those cards. Yeah. You know, birthday cards, whatever. And it, does, it costs a little money. And you the can... Duke first show <laughs> spitting game. Dude, you're right. Most agents forget about that little stuff. That little stuff is huge, man. Birthday cards. Okay, a, a thank you card when you write the business. A birthday card every year. And when we say a birthday card, you've heard this. When, when we say birthday card, this is in our university, by the way. Our Insurance Wealth University, 150 freaking videos. And we preach about, even when you send a birthday card, don't say, hey, Betty, thank you for your business. This is Cody, right? Happy birthday. Like, that's boring. That's what everybody does. You want to be unique. You want to stand out. We, we, we do this stuff because we want to be unique. Am I right? So when you write that card, you, okay, you say, well, what do you say? Put a dollar in it and say, Betty, back when you were born in 1942, a dollar, you know, a Coke was, a can of soda was, you know, a nickel. You know, today, it's about a buck. So, so have a Coke on me. Have a great birthday. I appreciate you very much. Cody, I don't mention business. I don't mention that they're a customer or a client. Like, no one wants to be a customer. People don't get that. So yeah. be unique. I'm glad you brought that up. Good point. Yeah.